Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. Uh, lately, like you know, I've started to use Kiwi and Python and Bulldozer to actually make some uh, applications for uh, Android devices. Uh, well, basically, some simple applications uh, that are connected to IoT domains. So. Uh, my my first step was uh, just uh, a dummy app with uh, three text fields and one button and I wanted to, to develop a little bit more from there and uh, I wanted to basically read some information that I have on an MQTT broker and then to display the temperature and humidity that I'm receiving from uh, sensors that I have and uh, I finally succeeded basically the main KV uh, file is using uh, a grid layout I still have to learn how to use uh, uh, grid layouts and how to use spacings it's very raw the application at this, mo uh, this particular moment is very raw um, I'm using uh, from the garden I'm using some uh, some widgets that uh, are called knobs. Basically, you can uh, make your own uh, widgets and uh, um, make your own uh, uh, graphic and uh, attach to this uh, particular widgets. And then uh, what I have here, this is the this is the KV file. Yeah. So I don't have I have two knobs that I'm using to display. Uh, the values graphically you will see uh, in an, uh, in a moment, and also I will uh, I use two progress bars that are uh, uh, delivered with the KV and two labels. So nothing uh, nothing more. Two labels to to show the uh, values in a readable way, and uh, two widgets to display it graphically. Um, I have some global uh, variables here that I'm also using in my Python uh, source file. So uh, what I have here is the main application class that it's also connecting to uh, the MQTT broker and um, I have in the uh, UI class I've defined the object that I'm going to update and I'm using main thread, uh, thread decorator to actually run this update uh, uh, this update function in the main, main thread because you cannot basically update uh, uh, GUI elements outside the thread that was created from uh, what I have here, it's uh, I have the callback function for the um, uh, for the MQTT uh, on message. So basically, I'm just calling update here from the main thread. And uh, another specific thing, I have uh, event on pause in case the application is on pause like in the background the client will disconnect and on resume the client will connect to uh, the MQTT broker why I want that uh, well basically it's because after a long period of inactivity the client will get disconnected and the application would not read uh, new data anymore like I don't know 30 minutes or so I've made some tests so basically on resume I'm just reconnect the client on on pause I disconnect it uh, I don't know if that it's the optimal way but we will see about that um, I'm also having a virtual machine that it's running on Ubuntu 18 uh, on which I have basically this uh, uh, this Python file and this KV file are on a Samba uh, on a Samba share here 
so I can edit them. And here I have uh, the bulldozer uh, spec file and uh, a folder with uh, some images uh, that I do think that is not used at this particular moment and the two uh, and the two files that are uh, uh, edited uh, here via Visual Source. Well, I will show you uh, what I'm using and how I'm using it. Basically, I'm using Bulldozer, and I said the target is Android. Debug it, deploy it, and then run the application. Uh, when I'm going to do that, I will show the I will show you the screen, and then I will uh, also change the camera view and uh, will show you a deployment via uh, an external uh, webcam. So basically I'm deploying it right now. <coughs> the application will find the target device and in my case is a tablet. I will, uh, I will show you also from another perspective so you can see. Deployment is application is pushed and application started uh, on the target. So uh, we are back with another point of view um, as I'm trying to show you also the tablet which is uh, uh, my Android testing device and uh, this is the screen that you have already seen. I'm going to uh, start another deployment so you can see it uh, from the outside of the virtual machine screen and you will see that the application will start on uh, Android device so as soon as it will get deployed okay so it's loading okay so now the temperature that was written on MQTT is also acquired here displayed by two progress bars and also by two widgets. I'm going to choose uh, another position for those widgets so you can see that they actually are getting uh, are getting updated with the new values. Okay, so the values that are read from MQTT. because uh, the actual values of the temperature and humidity are quite stable here as I'm being in a uh, in a room so uh, yeah everything uh, works as it should I will try to solve problems that I have with layout and uh, getting everything to be uh, nice and tidy but uh, that's more like a, a Kiwi uh, challenge than a uh, an Android challenge. At least for now, all the modules that I've used are working flawlessly on any Android device that I've used. Uh, I hope you enjoy this and uh, thank you for watching. This is Dexter from Dexter's Workshop.